You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Lieutenant General Hun Manaid has responded to some analysts who have called his succession as future prime ministerial candidate illegal by asking them to review the law before making comment. At the closing ceremony of the 100th anniversary of the presence of Christianity in Cambodia held on Saturday, Lieutenant General Hun Manaid stated that his selection as the future prime ministerial candidate of the Cambodian People's Party is not illegal, unlike what some analysts have said. He specifically referred to Article 83 of the Law on the Election of the Members of the National Assembly, which states that outside of working hours or when not performing official duties, civil servants, local authorities at all levels, the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces, the National Police, and court officials can participate in propaganda activities in support of any political party or any candidate, but must not be wearing their uniform, must not be armed, and must not do anything that leads to intimidation. So, Hun Manet also stated that his selection as the future prime ministerial candidate for the CPP is not against the law because his selection was an internal decision of the party. And while he is now the commander of the army, if he wishes to be a member of parliament, the law in Cambodia allows him to do so by resigning from his previous role. According to Hun Manait, there is nothing illegal about him being chosen as the CPP's next prime ministerial candidate. The 44-year-old is the eldest son of Prime Minister Hun Sen and was the first Cambodian to graduate from West Point Military Academy in the United States. He also holds a doctorate in economics from the University of Bristol in the United Kingdom and is at present a three-star lieutenant general serving as the deputy commander-in-chief of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces and the commander of the army.